Yo, what's up guys, welcome back, OCG Meta Game Breakdown for October 1st, 2017, well at least for the OCG format, since you know again their OCG, their, 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 yeah, their new uh, OCG list uh, has come into effect starting October 1st, 2017, but um, as you probably already have seen like last week, um, or like in a flashback from the video from last week is that uh, for the OCG here, as you know the spirals were sitting at about like 77%, so over 70 75% of the registered deck lists were, um, were spirals, but again we have to take into account that the lists being used here, at least for Road of the King, but again also on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website, uh, ready for duel as well, all the links will be in the video description, props to them again for this information is that pretty much most of these deck lists were from, you know, past locals, again locals level, not too many uh, high caliber events were held past couple of weeks but still early format and I'll, I'll come back to that uh, specific argument in a couple of moments but um, this week um, yeah what can I say right spirals 86% I, I believe and I have been playing this game ever since 2004-ish, something like that. I believe never in, in this game's history uh, for both OCG, TCG, um, I believe this never happened. Well, yeah, you had code format, you had chaos. Well, pretty much everyone was running chaos, as in Chaos Emperor, Yata. Well, yeah, I, I, you, but you know what I mean, right? With the archetypes, with... Tell a dad as a as somewhat of like the best card dot deck. Same for goat. Same for chaos back in 2004. Um, so yeah, tell a dad. Necros, burning abyss, uh, monarchs. A couple of formats ago, uh, satellites. You know, wind ups and sectors. They never got the same amount of representation as Spiral has now. It's just so so high. Um, and as you see here, like only 13% are, are rogue decks, so it's either play spirals or pretty much bust, right? So that, that's pretty much how it is now in the OCG. So I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, throughout the history, I think this has never happened. Anyway, still OCG. Um, at least for the deck list, there was uh, the Road of the King has posted up one list. I believe this time we've got uh, a no Destrudo variant, but yeah, it it goes up and down. People prefer the Strudo, at least some people play play the Strudo, the Strudo variant. Some people don't, but it, I think it's all up to the player. Like a lot, the, I believe I believe the the main similarity between pretty much every spiral list is just a huge amount of hand traps. Like Drawn and Logbird, uh, Ash Blossom, Ghost Reaper, yeah, Cherries, right? A Ghost Ogre, Max C, and the list goes on, guys. DD Crow as well because it's searchable off of that rank one exceed. Hand traps. It, it's it's. I feel this. Well, depends on how you look at it, but I feel that this is like worse than Zoo, right? Well, you had like the Zoo core, and then followed up with like a gazillion hand traps. But now people are are main decking more hand traps in this new spiral format for the OCG. So. As, as we said before, as we said last week, the OCG currently is uh, in a tier 0 format and that's, you know, no surprise since again, as we already mentioned, is that uh, due, to the no, uh, due to the new OCG list, pretty much all of their previous uh, top tier decks, tier 1 decks have been hit, like, you know, Masterpiece.deck, Zodiacs, uh, etc, etc. ABC's also got a hit with, you know, Terraforming, for example, so they're uh, invoked, you know, all their previous good and yeah, to go to decks were hit, and then came spirals. Same with the subterrors, but you know, spirals due to the new link monster was obviously uh, much more powerful, and they just took the format by storm. So, again, these results are definitely not a surprise. And as I mentioned before, the argument of um, I believe Road of the King only used for this pie chart, I believe, about 25 deck lists. That's, that's definitely not a lot, but I think. We can safely assume that if with this current format, with the current card pool in the OCG, if there would be like a high caliber tournament, I, I think we can safely assume that these results, this pie chart, will pretty much be the same, right? But again, feel free or correct me if I'm wrong, but 
maybe even more spiral players since again locals uh, people tend to play like more casually at locals and then again if it's like a high caliber tournament where people actually definitely want to win their tournament or at least end up as high as possible they definitely want to play the best deck and for the OCG that spirals right so again spirals currently tier zero and this also mentioned on the road of the king website he also um as like a couple of uh, players inside and I believe there was also a player that was uh, at least got first place at one of the Asia championships if I'm not mistaken uh, definitely one of, uh, one of the current top tier uh, players in the OCG um, like one of them as you see here at least I'll yeah, show both of them on the screen now how they side they can like the mirror match since again some people prefer these kind of formats like tier 0 formats then uh, yeah like the best argument for that is skill and it all comes down to like uh, players tech main decking like a couple of tech cards you know that's like uh, like the biggest argument a couple of those players like to uh, like to say right but uh, going first and I, I think this is pretty much obvious like siding out those generic hand traps like Maxi like Drawn and Lockbird and siding in Torrential uh, Solemn Strike Vanity's Emptiness just in case if you're going first you obviously don't want to have Maxi or Drawn and Lockbird you want to have at least one of those traps just in case if your opponent has his hand trap like maxi ready to stop your play then you can set your torrential your solemn your emptiness and then let your opponent like summon into it and then hope you right can survive so you still have your next turn prevent your opponent from establishing his board if it's like a spiral mirror match and also we're going second for example here uh, this particular player started out Destrudo and also that's very interesting siding out set rotation that's again very interesting since you know terraforming is currently at one in the OCG but their biggest reason is of course you know if the opponent starts this time they probably already have a set rotation they activate it and you know with gateway of chaos being set at your own field due to your opponent giving it to you you can't use any field spells so that's somewhat of a soft lock that people want to avoid so they side in uh, to things like twin twister game two signing out set rotation for something like that of, of course yeah more uh, hand traps like cherries if they aren't main decking that already um, yeah you're also like uh, siding in the artifacts also quite popular uh, the Gamma as well, but again Twin Twister also, so very interesting insight here, definitely take this one with you for us TCG players uh, later. But we still have a couple of decks like Euros, there was a list like, um, was it like 14 hand traps? Like, as you, like that, that's mind blowing, main decking 14 hand traps, like, <laughs> I don't know if that, that that's fun. <laughs> Um, you also saw Infernoid still, and that's that's like the joke over there. It's is lawn mowing grass is still at three. The grass looks greener is still at three, if I'm not mistaken, in the OCG. Like what? And the deck isn't doing anything. That that already says how powerful spirals are, right? Um, same for Infernities, as you see here. I believe they also got like a new odd eyes. Um, it's it's a cool boost for Infernities, but again, I've talked, um, also saw a couple of comments of Infernity players about these new cards, uh, or at least new Infernity decks, but they seem a bit of a Brick City deck. Personally, I'm not an Infernity player, but um, yeah, still at least that's what I've read about the uh, deck. All the deck lists we see magic bullets. Well, yeah, magical musketeers. They don't. Uh, they can't fill up the hype, sadly. Uh, but yeah, they still need like one or two cards to yeah get up there, right? Grass Vendreds as well. Six samurai. You know, with triple gateway, and the deck isn't doing anything. Again, that already says enough about. Uh, yeah, about how uh, their format is over there. So the consequences for the OCG. I believe there are three consequences possibly uh, possible. First of all, an emergency list. Um, I don't know. I don't think Konami is going to put an emergency uh, put uh, like uh, put online an emergency list for the OCG. Um, the second opinion, at least the second possibility, is you know wait out the OCG format three months. They still have a set rotation and wait out the three months and then just you know hit spiral. Um, 
yeah, during a regular banlist hit. Or the third possibility, and this one seems more likely, is the release of a new set. And that's, I think, the Link Frain set, with, you know, the older archetypes getting new support, like Cleeforts, Gladiator Beasts, Light Swords, etc, etc. These new, at least older archetypes getting new support, um, yeah, definitely, well, with this new support, not all the older archetypes will, you know, be tier 1, but something like Cleeforts getting a Link monster, and you know, Cleeforts, I believe, got everything back from the OCG list, the most recent list, so I believe Cleeforts are definitely going to be one of those decks that might uh, put up a fight against Spirals soon, but again, that's all speculation. Uh, last and that's the consequences for the TCG, you know, as I mentioned last week, is that there's still a big difference in card pools, like for example, Trigate Wizard will not be available, if I'm not mistaken, for us TCG players at the end of October for YCS London, so again, Spirals will be legal, but, well yeah, the, the, the Link Monster will be legal, but, you know, not Trigate Wizard, and that's still a very, very important card for, you know, getting that luck over your opponent. And of course, the difference in ban lists, uh, the, the Magician deck here, Pendulum Magicians are still at full force here in the DCG compared to the OCG. So a, a Masterpiece as well, still at 3. Same for Diagram as well. So it's it's still going to be very, very different. But Spirals will be released soon for us TCG players. And last, I want to end the video with like a question. Would you enjoy like playing in, in, in this format? Of, you know, Spirals definitely being like the tier 0 deck opening. And okay, if my opponent doesn't have the appropriate hand trap or doesn't have like more hand traps to stop my possible field or, you know, my combos to establish my field, I will win. Or if your opponent has like enough hand traps to stop my place, he he can establish his board and I will lose. <laughs> it's so strange, right? Since they just got their list and still we have this kind of format. Strange. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.